Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Yan, and today I have a collective thrift haul for you guys. If you guys don't know, I am trying to tackle my death pile of thrifted clothes. So I've been trying to limit how often I go thrifting. I have occasionally gone and I didn't get to film any of these videos for you guys. So I decided to just put a bunch of these thrift hauls into one video and hopefully you guys have more to see and enjoy. So if you guys enjoy thrift content and reselling content, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you guys haven't already. It would mean a lot to me and please also give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started. I have three different thrift trips. I'm just going to start off with the first location. The first thing that I picked up, I also don't have prices for you guys because it has been a while and I took off, I think, all of the tags. But I found this Christian Dior. I'm just going to start off this video with the bang. But I found this Christian Dior nightgown and this tag has a lot of numbers written on it. But it is just a very pretty vintage nightgown it looks like this and the front is just like this the next item that i found was this is the beatles sweatshirt it is very cool the tag is actually by the beatles it's just plain on the back but it's just in this really nice like sea blue color and very soft i also found this pair of madewell it is in the road tripper style which i do like to sell it looks like this and actually, I didn't realize, but it's super faded on the back, like near the crotch area, like the butt. So I might donate these. There are a lot of like pilling and it's very thin here. So this is a fail. Then I also found this pair of Lululemon shorts. This is super cool because I found this right before I was checking out. I just felt the material. I also saw this Lululemon tag near the leg. It's a very cool style. So it looks like that. And then I found this really cool piece. It is a, I think they call it like a pin needle texture or design. But it is so cool. It's by Painted Pony. And it looks like this. A super nice vintage piece. There are a bunch of cowboys at the bottom. And the back looks like this. I really love this item. So I hope that this will sell really well. And I guess the last item that I have here or clothing item is a leather jacket and it doesn't say what the brand is but it is a vintage red leather jacket i really like this and i love a pop of color in great condition as well and then i have some shoes to show you guys the first pair i want to share with you guys is really cool it is this super fun pair of converse it is also super cool on the bottom i saw this on the inside you can see i don't think you guys will be able to see but i thought this was a mickey mouse or disney collab and it says mc i looked it up and these were a collab with miley cyrus they're in the size men's three women's five so these are a smaller size but i couldn't pass them up this was also my first time finding sorel boots that were affordable they are super cool and really nice it has this fur lining and it looks like this on the side. This pair is a little bit worn, so I will have to clean them up. They do have a bit of wear on the front. I hope that people will still buy these. And then I found this amazing pair of heels. Super cute. They're a vintage pair. And I love this chunky platform. And these shoes look like this. So super adorable. They're in a size 8. And then the last pair of shoes that I picked up from this location were these Doc Martens canvas boots. And they're in this yellow color. Really like it, but they are very worn. I will try to find a way to somehow clean the canvas on the outside. But they look really nice at the bottom. And they do seem to be authentic. The only thing is that the ones that I found, the inside, instead of being zebra, they were black. They do say Doc Martin on the inside. And I'm going to do some more research. Moving on to the second location, I found four items and they were all dresses. So I'm going to start off with the first item. It was this really nice Giorgio Armani sheath dress. It's very mature with this cap sleeve. 
super cute and this was in amazing condition it has a zipper on the back i also found this really nice black wool blend dress and super cute it is by theory this dress has some pleating details on the front it's just really nice and then the last two dresses i found were the exact same style and they're just in a different color these dresses were by katherine regier i don't know how to pronounce that but this dress was made in canada this one would be better for you guys to see it has this like this really small strap on the shoulder it's a really short dress they're a silk blend so very cute and they are super expensive this black one still has a tag on it and this dress retailed for $1,250. So I'm really hoping to be able to make at least 100 from those dresses. And then at my last location, I found some great things to share with you guys. The first item that I picked up were these shorts and they're really nice. They're actually by Lululemon. I couldn't find this print or like this print on this pair of shorts. But I felt the material. I knew this had to be Lululemon, so I was really trying to find the logo, and I did find it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's really cute with this pink on the inside. And then I found these Everlane jeans. They're just in a really nice black color. I think this style is called the Kick Crop, and this has a raw hem. I love selling Everlane, and I think this is a really nice pair. And then I found this new with tag. Lulu's dress in this beautiful sea blue color and I've been loving this color a lot recently It's really hard to show you guys because there is a cutout. It is a midi length It has that split hem on the front. This is really cute. It's in the size large I want to keep this for myself, but I think I'm just going to list this item. I also found this Zara dress. I love this material and it is just this really nice lip kind of dress. It's black, super comfortable and lightweight. I thought this was a blogger's favorite, but I don't think so. It's in the size small. I wish this was in a medium because I do want to find something like this for myself during the spring and summertime. This is my first time finding Le Jeans or Le Jeans, but this is a pair of linen pants. They're super cute, this sailor style. These pants are in a ivory kind of like off-white color perfect for vacation and then i've been meaning to find some soft surrounding pieces to try out and i found this really pretty dress it is a purple dress with this floral print and super colorful and fun it's like a tunic kind of style dress when the new rack came out i found this barefoot dream circle cardigan it is super soft and comfortable i feel like this has some more wear but this is in the size extra small to small i'm just going to list this around 40 to 50 dollars i found another lululemon piece it is a very nice tank top i don't know what print this is but i just thought it was fun with this neon color on the back and i did once again saw that hidden lululemon logo I have three pairs of shoes to share with you guys from this trip. I found these for myself and they're super cute. They're just this pair of tan, I don't know what you call these, like mule heels. They're by 14th and Union. I don't think this is an expensive brand, but I feel like this would make your outfit look more chic. And then I found these boots. They're super cute. I love this style. They're actually by Blondo. I found Blondo shoes before and they sold really well. These shoes are waterproof and they're super cute. I don't know if you guys follow me on my shop Instagram, but you guys should definitely follow that Instagram by the way because I'm changing it to a more reselling kind of page. I will leave it down below, but I found these Hunter boots and I did make an Instagram reel. So check out my Instagram by the way, but these are just a really nice black pair of tall rain boots. I just saw these in the bins, so I grabbed them, but I just thought these were really nice. They do have some size of wear. They're also in the size 7, so these are in my size, but I don't wear rain boots. I actually have to sell my own pair of hunter boots. I bought mine in like a yellow color on Macari and I never wore them. I felt the inside and I was like, what's on the inside? Because it was really 
holding up the boots and I found the thermal hunter socks so I think that's really good I feel like I can get more for the pair of boots with the socks so that was a really cool thing to find because you guys can find a bunch of disgusting things in items but that was a very pleasant find so I think those were all of the items from my thrift trips. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would try to get a lot of things listed, but if you guys don't see them, you can always message me on my Instagram and I will get back to you guys. But please don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!